Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on GTA 5 today with some more straight racing career and I have got an interesting vehicle. This is the Ballista Time Attack. You see, of all the vehicles I have used in this uh, in this career that I've driven, I haven't had to go with a front wheel drive car yet. And this, well, looked very, very interesting. Made by the uh, same people that made the Loco Picador. It's another sort of law-friendly vehicle, if you like. Supposedly, it has the V10 out of the Jester under the bonnet. Uh, however, it's front wheel drive. Which is a uh, rather different... Oh, another one's turned up. Hello. Uh, <laughs> in fact, two... Oh, well, apparently it's the time attack meet. Sure, you know what? We'll race some of these. I was hoping to challenge some other weird and wonderful cars, but apparently we've got two Sabre Turbos, of which I believe one is a is the crazy flame one that's stupid, stupid fast. In fact, judging by how fast he's gone down here, that's very quick. We're not going to be racing against him. The other Sabre Turbo looks much more normal. Um, we've got a Buller with a massive engine. There's an AC with a massive engine and a Mupava. I mean, that's an interesting collection of cars. And, of course, these uh, Time Attack blisters. I, I'm curious to see how they fare. Mine's completely stock. I don't know whether these guys will be or quite how it is uh, going to fare. We shall, uh, we shall see. So it was a six point something from the, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're not going to get a six second run. It's 11 second for the other car. So we're off the line neatly. No wheel spin from our vehicle. We are monstering the AI car. It's an 8.5. So kind of in between. a 10.7 from the, uh, other blister. Nothing particularly spectacular. Oh, quick, let's run back and see if we can race the Mupava. The mighty, mighty Mupava is wanting to have a race. Quickly, and... Oh, not quite in the area. That'll do. We will challenge the Mupava for 13 grand. I mean, that's... It, it could be one of the sleeper cars. You don't know. Uh, of course, the monstrous engine vehicle is very, very obvious. The sleeper cars, much less so. Doesn't look massively upgraded, but, again, you never know what it might be underneath. Although, if, even if it is, I'm not massively fearful of it. I could, it could be a bad move, because I know they are all-wheel drive, and I have the uh, less than ideal drive line. Look at it. It, <laughs> it has the jump on me briefly, although that is not a slow move, but I will give him that, because he's now starting to pull on me a little bit. 8.5 from me. 8.9. I mean, that's quicker than the other uh, time attack. That's, that's a, far, a very fast move, but I will give him credit for that, but it isn't enough. It is not enough to beat, let's not forget, a standard, uh, a standard time attack. I will race that saber. I don't want to race the real quick one. I'm liking this meet, though, because I can get back in time and just race continually. I am, yeah, not particularly fancying uh, racing the flame one, because I know how quick it is. That one there is upgraded. Oh, we got a little bit warmer tire. I forgot how much temperature was kept in the tires after the last race. That one is upgraded, but whether it's going to be enough to uh, match my time attack car, probably not, considering it didn't even wheelie off of the line, and it's no nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. An 8.6 from my uh, my car. That was... Um, now, as, ooh, I want to get back in time to race the SC as well, because I want to race a monstrous engine front-wheel drive car. As much as I am a muscle car person, it's still quite amusing seeing the little Japanese front-wheel drive car beating the... No! I couldn't do it. The one race. <laughs> one race I wanted to take part in. I say I want to take part in. We will race, hopefully race the SC. Oh, it's going to take it forever to get back, isn't it? It's, it's a big old loop around for the... Uh, AI cars as, uh, well, something's only just making its way in it. We'll race the Poo. <laughs> I never got a Poo-mobile time attack. I, I went for the, um, kind of, um, what was it, BAR, um, livery on this. But, uh, <laughs> of course, the uh, AI turned up with a Poo-mobile version. This, uh, this is gonna go, surely going to go to the baller unless he misses a shift because the C is going to sit there spinning his wheels. I'll be curious, though, to see how fast that baller can get down here. If he can go sub 8 points, yeah, he can. <laughs> 7.4, that's a quick time. Only a 9.4. So we're faster than the monstrous engined front-wheel drive cars. We can get off the line better than the uh, monstrously engined front-wheel drive cars. But the other drive lines... Again, we are still talking about in standard guys here. Let's not forget, this is an unmodified one. In terms of um, 
the rear wheel drive and all wheel drive ones, yeah, this isn't going to be that quick. I wasn't expecting it to, though, let's face it. When the likes of the Shafter and the Picador Loco can't go quicker, I'm not necessarily expecting it to have that level of performance. But for a front wheel drive car, I mean, this thing has got sports cars and probably even some supercars this will have beaten because it's got some it's got some serious go about it the launch yeah isn't as good but it's certainly not bad it gets off the line pretty well if you're a little bit careful with the throttle you won't get any wheel spin oh that one there is more modified than me on oh, 8.4 that's the best run i've done yet that is the best run that i have done yet <laughs> but it's not enough that was a good race, actually. I enjoyed that one. I, I like, I'm like. i liking this car. This is a very, very cool car indeed. Oh, it's the uh, Sabre Turbos are going to go for a battle again. We've not really got anyone to uh, go up. The blur is back. It, it's right old loop that they go around. And someone's got a Zion. <laughs> you know, as you do. Just, just a, random, a random Zion hanging about. Do you have any money on you? Yeah, you do. Maybe we'll go and race against you and take that money away. So we have come out to the beach for this one. I quite quite like this meeting actually. There's a really interesting interesting amount of cars turned up. You can find just about everything that uh, you might want to race against, including that brutally fast Sabre Turbo that nothing I've built is even going to get near. We're going to challenge an Omnis though. Uh, oh, said Omnis is going to get carried away by a Shafter, but uh, <laughs> we're going to challenge an Omnis. They're pretty bloody quick cars, those. If our blister can beat that, I will be very, very impressed. It will have the launch on me by a fair margin, I would expect, but I might be able to close it back in further down the race. He will have to wait and see. Uh, Huntley versus Tampa. I would expect the Tampa to win this, but you never know what engine the Huntley might have. Well, it hasn't got a monstrous engine sticking out the bonnet. doesn't mean it can't have the uh, sleeper upgrades. Or the Tampa might bugger up his gear shifts. Oh, he's going to be a really close race. Who's going to win? Looks like the Tampa's just going to get it by a nose, potentially, there. 15-6. And a 16-2 between the pair of them. Ooh, that's an expensive race. This could be an expensive mistake. But it's likely to be... I mean, we need to challenge quick cars. We need to challenge quick cars. I mean, we could challenge one of the shafters. I'm slightly scared of that. <laughs> I know how quick that is. It is, uh, I mean, the second fastest vehicle I have behind the Loco Picador. And the Loco Picador is pretty bloody specialised, let's face it. Can... Can the front-wheel drive time attack car beat that Omnis that's decided to go back? They like, they seem to like going backwards up this hill. Don't ask why, I have no idea whatsoever. There is uh, a nice selection of muscle cars at this particular particular meeting. Yeah, there's some, sometimes they get confused and want to reverse up the, uh, <laughs> up the approach. Now, the slight plus side from starting on the right-hand side, we don't have to fight with the bollards. Now, I don't think they slow down the cars much, but you might lose just a fraction, little tiny bit of speed by crashing through them, so I'd rather force the AI car to do it uh, than, than me. I, I genuinely don't know what my performance is going... Oh, my God, the Dragster Phantom is here. Oh, dear, that's something special. <laughs> okay. Sure enough, off the line, the Omnis gets me, but this is where we pull it back. The secondary phase of that launch, we absolutely fly. It's an 11-4. We annihilate the Omnis. Oh, Arden's anyway. almost crashed into me. Oh, that's not the result that I was expecting. That's a big money race as well. I knew we were going to lose on the launch. Of course, the all-wheel drive rally car is going to get off the line very quickly, but... Um, I was not expecting to have that, that secondary phase, that massive pull on the Omnis that we did. That's good going. That's very good going indeed. Now, I know what we're racing next. And I also know that there is bugger all chance of me winning this race. <laughs> I say that. I suspect there is bugger all chance of me winning this race. The Phantom is a very, very quick vehicle. Uh, surprisingly so, as found out... A Number, I don't even know how many episodes ago. A while ago, probably now, when I, uh, when I drove one. Now, dragster versions of vehicles are much more upgraded than the vehicle can get normally. So that thing is going to be very, very quick. It is very heavy and 
my blister as it proved is a quick car. I don't think it's going to match that. Uh, I would like to see the Dragster Phantom against the Sabre Turbo Drag Car, the Flame Flame Turbo, whatever. I can't remember what they call it now, but I think it has a special name. I have a sneaking suspicion that the uh, blister here, uh, <laughs> while mine can, can probably compete with that shafter, that blister might struggle. Someone's betted on it. I mean, in fact, two cars have betted on it. That's some bravery from the uh, F620 and out of time. That's some serious bravery to uh, <laughs> to bet on that. Don't get me wrong, you know, they're not bad cars. But it's not going to beat a Shafter GTR unless the Shafter blows his engine to smithereens. Uh, well, having said that, the Shafter's run out of gears. Um, that's that's unusual. There's a 14 second. I mean, they're not quick times from either of them. I'm very surprised. That's a very slow time from the uh, Shafter. This is going to be a spectacle. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's what I can safely say about this one. Don't sink it. Please don't sink it. I want to actually see you race. It's the first time we have seen the uh, Dragster Phantom turn up in a video. And I'm looking forward to this race, even though I know I'm probably going to lose 20 grand. It's, uh, yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be a spectacle, and that's what we that's what we've come here to see. We've come here to see spectacular races, occasional silliness. Normally, cars rolling over. Uh, <laughs> this time, we've been relatively good. No big crashes because I can't wheelie. I can bobble, but we can't wheelie. Uh, are you gonna get stuck trying to decide how to get out of here with your very 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 powerful truck, or are you going to do warm up donuts on a hill? Uh, nope, we're going to go for the reverse approach with you as well. Sure. You know what? Go for it. Whichever, whatever ritual helps you get to the start line, I am perfectly okay with it, even if it's a weird one. And then we will go go racing. I don't know if he's going to wheelie. I'm not sure if the uh, dragster trucks will do a big wheelie as they go to set off with the amount of power. Thank you for the reversing beep. It's not like you're a giant bright orange truck and... Uh, <laughs> I can't see where you are. Uh, are you going to have the turning radius to get yourself lined up properly? Pro um, maybe. We'll we'll just get out of the way before we get crashed into by the big heavyweight semi truck. There we go. Well, I mean that's a way to park. Are you happy with that? You're going to have to turn. I hope I kind of hope you do wheelie and hope you don't wheelie all at the same time. I'm curious to see how I do performance wise, but seeing him wheelie straight off into the ocean would be quite entertaining. So there we go. Right, we are warmed up with our tyres. Can we beat the monstrous truck? Oh, it's got us off the line. No! Dragster Phantom! Look at the speed of that thing! It's ridiculous. It's going to absolutely annihilate us down here. <laughs> A 9.3. Ow. Thank you. That's just to add insult to injury. 9.3 from that thing. I knew it was quick. I didn't quite appreciate how fast that was down here. Uh, I also thought this was a slightly longer drag strip than uh, <laughs> that I remembered it as, but there we go. Oh, that's a very, very fast truck. We'll do one more race. We'll do one more race against somebody, and then we will call it there. As far as front-wheel drive cars go, pleased with this one. Very pleased with this one. Oh, I'm taking the shortcut down. What can we race against in here? That would be interesting competition. Uh, do we have any no real supercars here to race with? I found who we're racing. <laughs> Good sir, was your monstrous engine mini like a competition? I think, I think I've got the better of the front wheel drive monstrous engine cars with this blister. I think it can beat just about any of them. I think we've got good enough traction and good enough speed that by the time that mini's got up to speed, it'll be too late. It will probably be quicker than me by the end of the run, but it's how far ahead I can get before the Mini is up to speed. But as far as the rear-wheel drive, uh, monstrous engine stuff, especially something like that Phantom. <laughs> nope. Normal normal cars, this beats a lot of them. I I don't think there's too much, uh, apart from the real high-end supercars, that will, uh, that will beat this blister. I'm sure things like the Proto and T20s and so on, they've, they've got the speed. They've got the top end as well to uh, fight with the blister. And more importantly, they've got the launch. That's perhaps where this is going to struggle the most, is with that uh, with that getaway. It can beat sports cars like the Omnis and uh, Karumas and that kind of thing, the muscle cars and so on, unless they're real high-end drag versions. Ruiner, I'm going to have to kind of make a nuisance of myself because you're doing your weird circling. There we go. It does tend to fix the AIs. They do tend to now realise what they're supposed to be doing. 
Uh, there we go. See? Look at that. The fail race booping service is in uh, full effect and helping out here. I'm going to say Sabre Turbo, just for the uh, just for the Puma Beal. We'll go with uh, the Sabre Turbo as my expectation for the, the victory here. Uh, no big wheelies, not a massively modified one. In fact, it's going to be another very, very close race between these uh, these two. Or oh, Ruiner looked like he might have closed. The Sabre, as soon as the Ruiner's got into these bollards, the Ruiner is, is struggling. And oh, yeah, there goes the, uh, the barrel. Well, not a particularly big money race. This one here, though, is going to be for a uh, decent amount of the dollars. Right, let's see if we can go. See if we can make back the money we lost against the truck. Ah, <laughs> oh. no, nope, doesn't want to go for too much more. Uh, we'll go 19. Oops. <laughs> I'd like to race for 195,000, but I don't think the Mini is going to be too keen on that one, particularly as other cars are... Oh, there's a little bit of a argy-bargy going on around there. Uh, <laughs> Got so many cars around this area at the moment. Ah, the Mini is keen. The Mini is very keen for this race to get underway. Sorry, Arden, I'm going to a start line here. Uh, the Mini is very, very keen indeed for this uh, for this race. Can't say I blame him. This should be an interesting one. Fingers crossed we have got the pace in this. I could do without losing another race. Uh, we just about made back the money we spent on this car. Bets uh, in favour of the Mini. Bets are in favour of the, uh, the Mini here. All right, we are... Off. A good start here from the Ballista. I don't quite uh, look back. Oh, we've got the Mini by a mile in terms of the launch. Here comes that speed, though. Is the Mini going to catch us in time? No, he isn't. <laughs> exactly what I said. Very rare that I'm exactly right, but we were. Yeah, the Mini just can't get off the line. It spends so long spinning the wheels and not being able to put its power down, and I can just go and go and go and pull, but then the speed that thing starts closing in towards the end of the uh, straight is phenomenal. Exciting race! <laughs> Exciting race indeed. Well, I very much like this uh, this time attack car. It has done very, very well. For a front-wheel drive vehicle here, outside of the crazy cars, I mean, it's beating the all-wheel drive on this, and it would probably beat most sports and Probably a fair few supercars if I can get a good launch. It's a, a very, very cool vehicle. As ever, I shall link all of the mods used in the description so you can download them, have a play with them yourself. However, that is going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.